plug in the x equals negative 2 so negative 2 plus 2 0 absolute value of 0 is 0 over 3 times negative 2 negative 6 plus 6 0 so we got 0 over 0 and in determinate form so we need to simplify before we plug in the x equals negative 2 but it's difficult to simplify with absolute value okay so we need to first evaluate what is the absolute value of x plus 2 and here is the definition of absolute value of x absolute value of any number this could be positive or negative that has two definitions two parts this will be itself if x is non-negative if this number happens to be bigger than or equal to zero then the absolute value of any number is just itself but if that number happens to be less than zero or negative number okay so absolute value of negative number that will be negative of that negative number and in any case the outputs are always positive okay so we need to use this definition uh, to get rid of this absolute value so there are two cases when x is bigger than or equal to zero or less than zero so in this case we need to consider one-sided limits two cases okay x can approach to negative two from left side as well as right side so left and limit let's find this one limit when x approaches to negative two from left side x plus two over 3x plus 6 so negative 2 from left let me draw over here so negative 2 so x can approach to negative 2 from left side okay x is approaching to negative 2 from left side in this case x is less than negative 2 okay in the same time for the right hand limit x can approach to 2 from right side x approaches to negative 2 from right side in this case x is bigger than negative 2 okay so when x approaches to negative 2 from left side so we are in this situation x is less than negative 2 so x plus 2 x is less than negative 2 less than negative 2 plus 2 okay this is less than 2 so that's uh, i don't know maybe negative 2.11 something like here negative 2.11 so this will be the whole thing will be negative number okay so we are in second case if this happens to be a negative then absolute value of negative is negative of that number so this will be negative 2 from left the bottom you can 3x plus 6 oh you can factor 3 out so x plus 2 on the top this is you can always take like negative 2.1 because negative 2 is negative 3 negative 2.1 the so whole thing is negative and to get positive output so negative of that negative number okay x plus 2 is a negative number when we get it up absolute value this negative and negative the whole thing becomes now positive so now we cancel x minus x plus 2 from top and bottom and plug in x equals negative 2 so negative 1 over 3 and there is nothing to plug in there is no x left so negative one third so this is negative one third okay that's the left hand limit in the same way let's find the right hand limit negative 2 from right side of x plus 2 over 3x plus 6 skip writing limit the bottom you can pull 3 out x plus 2 on the top when x approaches to negative 2 from right side so we are here so negative 1 is somewhere there so it's like negative 1.99 okay negative 1.99 something like that that plus 2 so this will be a positive number Okay. this will be a positive number and absolute value of positive number is always that number okay that's coming from the definition and then x plus 2 x plus 2 cancel one third no more x's so it has no effect anymore one third so the limit is one third 
okay for this limit the left hand limit is negative one third and the right hand limit is one third since they are different the this limit does not exist so the limit of the original question does not exist uh, you can graph this function and see but it's clear from this algebra so let me 